I just wanted to bring these back. Sure. No charge. Thanks. Hey, you want to talk? About what? Those aren't exactly party clothes you're wearing. What'd they say? Time heals all wounds. God has his reasons. The truth is, maybe he does. Doesn't make a goddamn bit of sense. It's a mortal sin to say that. It's a sin to believe anything else. You don't know what you're talking about. Then why'd you come here? I told you. I just... I walked out in your shoes. Yeah, you did. I had nowhere else to go. Then don't go anywhere. You said you were closed. I lied. Hi, this is Cheryl. Cheryl O'Connor. Um, um, my dad died. This is stupid. I don't want to do this. Okay. Here's something. Um... Tonight, this old guy, I don't even know who he was, but he was telling me that when my dad was young, he was this really great dancer. And all the girls at the Copa used to hang all over him. I would have loved to see that. I never even... So my daddy danced before. I mean, not really. to do with this? Bury it. For what? You know, for like a time capsule. Then we'll pick a date and we'll get together and dig them up, like July 4th, 1999. You made one of these? A long time ago. After my old man split. Doesn't seem like such a big deal now. I mean, just because they're your parents doesn't mean you gotta love them. I love... I loved my dad. And you're one of the lucky ones. Well, listen, you better get in there before you get in trouble. Yeah. Well, listen, I'll see you on the 4th of July, 1999. Okay. I'll bring the potato salad. And I'll bring the fireworks. Hey, I know. Yes, 
girls, can you believe it? Two years ago, I was turned down looking for modeling jobs in Hollywood. They said I was too flat-chested. I tried barbell swimming, nothing helped. Then I discovered new lady magic cream. These will grow too, right? Your nipples? No, they stay the same, exactly the same. Results in just 30 days or your money back. That's perfect, they'll be just right for Mickey's party. We'll probably have to wear a bra. Probably. They won't get too big. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it, Alice. <laughs> Oh my god, it's the lube head from the Strikens Bear. He's kind of cute. Or Grease. My condolences, ma'am. You just tell her it's Rick. Hey now. Hey. Hi. You want to go get a Coke or something? Yeah, no, no. definitely. Hold on a minute. Is he a friend of yours? Yeah, no, he's a friend. So are you afraid to come along? Well, you know, we're in the neighborhood. <laughs> Sherry, I don't want you leaving this house. Mom, I'll be all right. I can't breathe in there. That is so trampy. Come on, Barbara. Let's go. Alice, don't get all excited. They're not going to ask you to come along. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, who are these boys? I don't know. Do offers. Oh, it's communist, Mom. Huh? All right, we're out of here. <laughs> I thought you said you went to Catholic school. Yeah. But they've been telling us about guys like you since I was in the first grade. <laughs> I don't want to say anything, but do the girls in Queens actually fall for this kind of routine? What routine? You know, stuffing me with oysters and tequila. Got your hair trimmed. You got on aqua velva. It's not aqua velva. That's well, too bad. It's my favorite scent. <laughs> I was waiting for you to call, you know? I thought she'd give you a little time. That's funny. All I got is time. It's like it all just stopped. Being in that house with my mom all alone. It's so horrible that people you love can just die like that. That they can just disappear. Yeah, but just because they're gone doesn't mean you gotta stop loving them. I mean, you never know. You might see them again. Where? On the other side, that's where. You gotta keep your options open, right?
I like that. Your turn. I couldn't say Venus was in the sky that night, but it could have been. After that night, they were inseparable. I saw them everywhere. Like at the strike and spare, she'd hang around all afternoon, waiting for his break. Sometimes they'd even hang out on a lawn when her mother wasn't around. No one was happy about it. Mr. Bell said if he had wanted them in the neighborhood, he would have never left Queens. And Mr. Rossi, he heard they all had records and he'd call the cops if it kept up. But me, I didn't care if they'd all been in Sing Sing. I wanted them to stay around forever. Best of all is when you bring her back late and park down the block not to wake her mom. And it would just be us in the middle of the night in the darkness. Ooh.